So I'm going to take a little uh, derivation from making crank baits here and talk about uh, fixing this rod. So I slammed this rod in the trunk of my car. This is my nice uh, crank bait rod that I have uh, made myself. I spent a lot of money making it, um, probably 10, 12 years ago, and just recently I slammed the tip into the trunk of my car on accident there. So. I've been kind of shopping around for another one and I thought, you know what, I'll try to fix it before I go ahead and fork over the 200 300 bucks to get another rod. So here's what I did. I went to the hardware store and they sell tubing at the hardware store and they sell aluminum tubing and brass tubing. And so I just kind of took the tip in and found the right size tubing. And you'll notice this attempt, I've got a whole $1.49 invested in this attempt. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this tubing and fit, the two pieces of, fit it over the two pieces of the rod. And then I'm going to use some of my uh, some of my urethane that I use to cast lures here to kind of fill up the tubing and then uh, attach the rod back together. And I think it's going to work. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so you can see I cut the little piece off the brass leaf. And uh, Okay, so now what I've done is roughed up the, the rod where it's going to go inside of the sleeve. You can see I've just taken a piece of sandpaper and roughed that up so I get good uh, good adhesion. Um, okay, so basically what I did is I put the uh, put the tubing on the bottom part of the rod and it kind of snugged up right above that guide. So with the top or the tip of the rod out of that then I took a uh, paper clip and the urethane with the two-part urethane all mixed up and I basically just took that paper clip and kept shoving the urethane down that tube until I got it filled up and then pushed the tip of the rod in there lined it up so that the guides you know so that the guides were in line and then made sure it stayed that way until it hardened and now I've taken it apart and so now that I've taken it apart and it looks like it's uh, pretty solid so I'm gonna let it dry overnight now and I think that I may have just fixed my rod. Um, obviously time will tell and I'll take this thing out fishing here tomorrow and, and find out if I've actually fixed it, but I'm pretty confident. I think I've actually got this sucker sucker fixed and it probably will suffer a little bit of uh, performance, but maybe not even enough that I would ever even notice. So we'll find out, I'll take it fishing and I'll report back. So I'm actually out steelhead fishing right now, but I'm happy to report that my rod fix has worked. Uh, it's worked fantastic. Uh, I've headed out, it's actually winter time now, and I've been out walleye fishing several times with it, and it's worked great. I honestly, I can't tell the difference between the way it is now fixed and the way it was before it broke. So I think this is a great way to fix a rod, so hopefully uh, it'll work for you.